Hey, what's happening guys? Today we're going to take a look at a little 5x5 five five RGB LED matrix. You might call these uh, NeoPixels. Uh, their official designation is uh, what, WS2812B. And they're really neat LEDs that only require a single data line and voltage and ground. So what I've got here, like I mentioned, is a simple matrix. It's a five by five little panel that I purchased off of AliExpress for less than a dollar. These WS2812Bs are, are super affordable right now. And they're a lot of fun to play with. In my opinion, they are just a great way to get into, uh, you know, working with LEDs and getting started in electronics. So let me zoom out here so you can see what we're working with, which is really not a whole lot. So we've got our five by five matrix. We got three wires, ground, VCC, and data. And in Arduino control in this, it's super easy. Let me uh, just take the power off of that. Take out this uh, LED matrix. And you can see it's got a little header, one on either side. This is the out header, and you do need to pay attention to that. So we have ground VCC out. Over here we have ground VCC in and ground. So super simple. My connections to the Arduino, we have a ground, which goes to ground. We have VCC, which goes to 5 volts. And we have a data pin, in this case going to pin 8, but you can make it go to uh, wherever you want it to go. And then you might also notice that I have a capacitor there. This is a uh, 330 microfarad capacitor acting as a reservoir across the power line so that we don't blow anything up. Now, the library that I'm using with this is the Fast LED library. Pretty cool library. And I'll show you, this is just a demo. I really haven't programmed anything here. I haven't done anything myself except, you know, plug in a few wires. What did I do? I put that in the wrong place. There we go. <laughs> All right, we're going to go over the computer. But first, a message from today's sponsor. Today's video is brought to you by Solder Stick. Solder Stick makes quick waterproof wire connections that last a long time and protect whatever it is you're working on. They sell different types of connectors, everything from T-tap connectors, which allow you to put a splice into the middle of a wire without having to cut the wire or remove any insulation, waterproof uh, melt butt connector kits, spade connector kits, which if you work on cars or boats, you know how useful they will be. And the same goes for ring connectors. When you need to connect a wire to something with a nut and a bolt, this is simply the way to do it solder stick remember them for all of your wire connection needs there's a link down below for a discount okay let's start off with where are you going to get this library that i've been talking about fast led which you see right here well if you come up here and go to sketch include library and then come over to Manage Libraries in your Arduino IDE. This will take a second to look. Okay, so what that does is it brings up the Library Manager. And all you have to do here is go into this empty box. And if you type fast and hit enter, it'll take a few minutes to think about it. Let's see. Scrolly, scrolly. E. 
E E E F F A B F A S fast fast Sam fast Excel fast B L E fast bot fast core come on fast LED there it is so come down here to fast LED and you know you can get whatever version you want update it whatever you need install it and in my opinion this is truly the best way to install anything on your uh Arduino ID because it puts it in the right place and it gets all the pieces you need. It's just an easy way to do it. So fast LED, fast LED using namespace. I don't know what that means. I'm not a programmer. If you guys know what that means, uh, tell me down below. So fast LED, 100 lines of code demo reel, just giving you an idea of what's going on. So we say if defined fast LED and fast LED version less than 3,000, 300, 3 million, yeah, three three million. One one thousand. That's what that is a very strange number. Warning requires fast LED. Okay. So data pin, I have eight. You can put it on whatever pin you want. That's the cool thing about these. They only take one uh, data line. Clock pin. We're not using the clock here, so it doesn't matter. Our type is WS2812. Our color order is our GRB. We have 25 LEDs here, but uh you can have as many as you want. So Really, the only two things you need to change to use this library in this example is your data pin and the number of LEDs. We got your brightness here. This can go up to about 255, and we're see we're down well below half. And then these all just do stuff. This one, for instance, uh, is called confetti. Random colored speckles that blink in and fade smoothly. Fade to black by LEDs, num LEDs, 10, integer position, random 16, num times the LEDs, LEDs, air, uh, array position, plus equals, yeah, I don't know what these mean. Anyway, these are just little routines that allow you to uh, do different things with the fast LED, fast LED. And if we come down here and take a look at the examples that's in the fast LED, the one we just looked at is called Demo Reel 100. They also have Fire, but Fire really doesn't have a, you need more LEDs, like maybe around 100 to do this. So let's bring up First Light, for instance. So if you want to force the software spy subsystem, blah, blah, blah. Okay, how many LEDs are in the strip? We have 25. Data pin is eight. We're not using spy, so that's fine. I'm gonna bring the uh, the Arduino over here and plug it in. One second, please. Okay. I have the camera up and running, so you should have a second little window here. And you're still seeing the uh, demo reel going on right there. All right, so here's new and just make sure everything is in place. Com8, and we will upload. Hopefully this will not take too long. And you guys will get a nice idea of what this should look like. While that's doing that, I'll give you a quick update on what is going on. I still haven't been paid over three months now. So supposedly I'm going to be able to get away from this multi-channel network come the 1st of June. I hope that is the case. So you can see it is loaded. And it's super simple. So I guess the next question might be something like, are there any other libraries? That you can use with this and the answer is yes uh, another good one is the adafruit neo pixel and neo matrix i'm just going to grab the neo matrix and we're going to go neo matrix test we'll bring it up here and all i really need to tell this is a uh, pin eight 
and how many LEDs do we have? These are five by five in our matrix. Okay, and we'll upload. And that'll take a few seconds. So yeah, once I get away from uh, the multi-channel network, I guarantee you I will not be going back. I'll just use AdSense. All right, let's see if we can see better in there. Yeah, very cool. Age. Not sure which way this is going. I don't like this. But that's what I wanted to tell you about. If you want to start playing around with addressable LEDs, the WS2812Bs are great. They are low price. There are many libraries out there that you can mess with, and you can find them individually. You can find them in strips, and you can find them in matrices. So get you some, have some fun, learn a little bit, make something cool. And if you do, I hope you'll send me a link to it because I'd like to see it. All right? I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. A huge thanks to our sponsor, Solder Stick. A huge thanks to our patrons who are keeping us alive through these tough times. And a huge thank to you guys for watching. I wouldn't be here without you. That's it. I'm out. Peace.